Hi, so in the last video I did, I was criticizing Lenovo for removing the modular battery in the ThinkPad P53 as opposed to the modular battery they had in the P52. I was also bringing up how it bothers me when companies copy the things Apple does wrong without copying the things that they do right. Now, some people were saying Lenovo is not the first company to do this, and I agree with you. But what I say is, who was the first company? Whose company, what company are all these other companies following the lead of when they decide to do things like remove a modular battery? Apple. Now, what bothers me here is that they did not go up in watt hours or specifications, nor did they make the machine slimmer by removing that option. When Apple decided that they were going to nix the modular battery, at the very least, they there was a trade-off. So they got rid of the modular battery, but you got more power, you got more watt hours. Or they got rid of the, the modular battery, but they made the machine thinner, so you had a thinner machine. With Lenovo, the P53 is not only just about the same thickness as the P52, but you're still using a 90 watt hour battery. Now, what many people said is that with the P53, they actually advertise a higher battery life, so you are getting something different, which means that Lewis is wrong. To this, and this makes me incredibly sad because what you're doing here is you're completely ignoring the idea of watt hours. So let's go over the concept of watt hours. So if we take a look at the ThinkPad P52 and P53 spec sheets over here, I'm just going to open up this browser window and close all the stuff that you guys are not supposed to see. Let's get that going. So here we have battery. On the P52, 90 watt hour up to 10 hours. On the P53, when we go over to spec sheets, it says up to 16.5 hours on 90 watt hour. Now, what a lot of people are saying in the last video, and what's making me damn near want to cry, because it means that I have done absolutely terrible job over the past seven years of teaching anything related to electronics, is that people are thinking that the battery has something to do with the fact that the P53 has better battery life than the P52. So I'm going to try to demonstrate this with, uh, with, with Legos here. So this here is an Ivy Bridge 2012 MacBook Air. This is an Ivy Bridge board. This is an 820-3209 board. So this is a 2012 MacBook Air. Over here, we have a Broadwell 2015 or 16 MacBook Air. This machine is from about 2015-16. This is an 820-00165 motherboard. And this is three and a half years newer than that MacBook Air. Inside of each of these MacBook Airs, you will find this exact same model battery, the A1496. Now, the 2015 MacBook Air has a longer battery life than the 2012 MacBook Air, even though they use the exact same A1496 battery. Is this because A, in the newer machine, that battery has mystical, magical qualities that transcend the concepts of physics and electronics, like watt hours, or B, because they change the chipsets. If you answered A, please unsubscribe. If you answered B, then yes, you are correct that the newer machine has better battery life, not because they've increased the watt hours, but because it's a new chipset, it's more efficient, they redesigned the motherboard, maybe they used a more efficient screen. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but this has nothing to do with the battery. So when people say, when I say that you're not getting anything more in the P53 over the P52 battery-wise when they made the battery not user removable, what I'm talking about is the watt-hour rating, where it is correct that in the P53 you are getting the exact same, uh, where would I put it? Uh, you know, on the P53 you're getting the exact same 90 watt-hours that you got on the P52. Further, these gains in efficiency that allow the P53 to last longer than the P52 have nothing to do with the battery not being user removable. This means that they're using a more efficient graphics card, a more efficient CPU, a more efficient screen, or maybe simply the way that the board powers these chipsets is done in a more efficient manner. But the fact that the battery watt hour is a constant that doesn't change between the P52 and the P53 means that the increased efficiency and increased battery life on the P53 has nothing to do with them taking away the modularity of the battery. Now, if you want to say that the latch is not durable, that's something that we can talk about. If you want to say that it's ugly that the battery on the bottom of the machine is present, that's something that we can talk about. Because even if it is something I would subjectively disagree with, it is indeed something that can at least be argued because for you, it might be true. 
But if we're talking about the fact that you are, that people are saying that you are actually getting more from the P53 versus the P52, from the standpoint of the battery, no, you're not. It's the exact same battery. One machine can run longer on it because it uses less power. But you could have easily had that new machine use less power and last longer without making the battery non-user removable. Lenovo has been making their laptops last slightly longer each year for the past 10, 15, 20 years, as long as they've been a company, without making the battery non-user removable. So why would you say now that you are getting more, that the battery does last longer solely because it wasn't user removable, even when the specification says the exact same 90 watt hours? Why? Why are you defending this? Defend it if, at the very least, if you're going to defend this change, defend it from the standpoint of A, the battery latch is weak, or B, that the battery being there is ugly. Something like that. But why are we going to defend Lenovo for making this decision? Why, I should uh, correct myself, why are we going to defend this decision using false information or using a false premise? It doesn't make sense. We're simply encouraging companies to make worse decisions if we are going to just f perform fellatio on their CEOs anytime they do something that makes no sense. You know. If a company removes the IP67 or IP68 liquid resistance rating in a new product, we shouldn't defend that unless there is a genuinely good reason that they did so. If a company decides to release a new product with worse specifications than an old one, or they release a new product that's more expensive for no reason, we shouldn't defend that without actually having a reason for it. There should at the very least be a reason that we are arguing over rather than simply defending a bad decision that a company makes for no good reason. And this applies just as much to Apple as it does to companies like Lenovo. I like the ThinkPad line. I buy Lenovo machines, which is precisely why I want these decisions to be made in a manner that makes sense, in a manner where we're getting something that is better than what we had bought last year rather than worse. I believe if you are tr a true fan of a company that you're going to point out the things that you think that they could be doing better rather than simply just cheerleading them rah, rah, rah in your corner and defending everything they do even if it is really, really dumb. Because again, I can understand the arguments that somebody has as to why they want a battery inside the machine for certain reasons. But you should be defending it based on those reasons rather than on this. If you think that a 90 watt hour battery, just by virtue of the fact that it is internal rather than external, magically gains properties that allows the computer to last longer, I am sorry, I, am, I have failed. I have failed terribly in teaching you anything about how a laptop, a board, or electronics function. And for that, I am truly sorry. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.